Yeah, I mean, I I work in so many different productions, and it's, so it's transpo gym or makeup Jill, uh, Jill makeup. Um, yeah, just I don't know. Somehow people lose their last names and their job titles seems to get morphed in there. Hey, it's Jim Alexander with Real Talker. Boyd, are you by a burger place or something in the background there? <laughs> Getting takeout? Yeah, it's just a small place that I, that I do a little part-time job at. Well, you know, at least they gave you a day off today, right, to do this. Yeah, it's on fire, so I have a moment to uh, do a couple <laughs> interviews. Well, hopefully they put it out <laughs> in time, or you're going to have to look for a new gig. But, uh, man... You know, it's actually interesting, too, because I went a rabbit hole with your career and I found out like you were a model, a sculptor, photographer. I'm like, I know this guy from like the villainous, badass roles, the Cowboys. I'm like, how is he not typecast ever? I'm like, that dude is just like an enigma to me now. So, <laughs> well, thanks for checking out the vault. Um, it's all true, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy just and just really live and breathe the character you know I'm, I'm i'm a fan of uh, a lot of genres so i just try to play in a lot of sandboxes there you go you've done that for sure i don't know about you like the opening scene of the movie uh, where, where bj's characters were like john mayer he's like going through the phone of all the crazy names of like you list people on the phone these days which is like so true to life dude i spent like half an hour looking over my list after that and seeing like what i named people and i came up with some crazy things i did not know on my phone do you have such a list of like crazy people and like names you name people in your phone book that <laughs> that you yeah. maybe skipped over yeah, I mean, I I work in so many different productions, and it's, so it's transpo gym or makeup Jill, uh, Jill makeup. Um, yeah, just I don't know. Somehow people lose their last names and their job titles seems to get morphed in there somehow. Yeah, I mean, it's not as bad as mine. I had like annoying red carpet guy. I don't even know who that is. Literally. Yeah. I oh, had like weird. Elizabeth from Kentucky or Tennessee. I don't know which state apparently this girl was from. I had like Allie friend of the cats, you know, I, I guess she was into cat. I don't remember any of these people too, but it was, it's an amazing study character study right there going through that. Yeah. It's, you, you feel like a bit of a schizophrenic with having <laughs> all these people on your phone literally and then half of them you don't even remember you know I, your character's wild that family's wild in the film at some point when you when you guys are reading a script or you're all together I'm like did you know these characters in real life do you have like someone out of the family in the film that you like oh this is someone I definitely know this character in real life did you have that moment yeah I, I definitely felt like I, I grew up with the Ty Shaw around me hmm. Uh, just the guy that was completely wild and fun and just completely unpredictable at, you know, every encounter that you're with. Um, yeah. And then uh, Crawl is another character from the film played by Clint Obersheen, uh, who's just a fantastic character. So, yeah, you pick up little bits and bobs and draw from life here and there. Uh, but BJ is given such a rich wealth of, of characters for us all to embody. No doubt. And some real life uh, reflections to at least on my end with all the things we do, we kind of overlook. So, hey, uh, Run to work whenever you can. If not, then I mean, I guess Indiana Jones is waiting for you. But, uh, you know, try keep on multitasking and doing the hell of a job you've been doing. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Alex. Hey, take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.